What's up, Diecast Gang? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy KG back in the workshop studio. Hope everybody having a blessed day. I'm feeling pretty blessed myself, gang. Uh, got a lot to go over with you guys with today. First, uh, getting off, I want to say shout out to all the new subscribers. If you watch me for the first time, took the time right now to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell, turn on all post notifications so you won't miss a single video from your boy. Uh, getting right into it, I want to uh, get into the shout outs. Shout out to Felix Burgos. I believe that's how you pronounce your last name. I'm not 100% sure. But Felix, you know who you are. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> he asked a question in my last video. Uh, he went back and probably watched the video that I did for a build that I done of a truck with a nine car hauler that I did for a giveaway build a while back. Sometime, maybe almost two years ago now. But he went back and watched the video and he asked a question on my last video. He said, hey man, anyway, you can build me a hauler and sell it to me. And with a question mark at the end. And I synced the, the comment and the question and I didn't answer it because I wanted to address it in this video. And he also had another question, Felix. I think you deleted the... Uh, the other comment because I didn't see it. I was trying to go back just today and, and read your comments because I wanted to address it on this video, like I said. But I believe you deleted one of them. Uh, but I'm gonna answer that question. But right quick, shout out to Ken Johnson, aka Mr. Sandman. Uh, I appreciate you, my dude. He said uh, he said he loves the '69 Corvettes. And he watched the whole entire video. In my last video, I mentioned that uh, my watch time minutes was down. Uh, pleased to announce that the minutes was up on that video. So big shout out to you, Ken, and everybody else who listened to me and watched the whole entire video. I try to get straight to the point, gang. It's difficult sometimes, but I try to stay on track. Um, a lot of times I don't prep for my videos. I just turn the camera on and I go for what. It's on my mind. I'm trying to show you guys. So, to answer your question, Felix, um, these builds that I do with these truck builds is pretty much from scratch. I build them out of wood, um, and they usually take some type. Of, they usually take quite some time to build. Um, and I do it in my spare time. Okay, uh, a lot of people ask about them. A few people have asked about them, and you know I build dioramas also. So people ask for diorama builds, and I keep it 100 with them, straight up in the door. I let them know. Um, now I do deposits, you know what I'm saying, on my bills. Now I do this as a hobby. I don't do it for a living. So people be in line for waiting for bills, and I get back to them. And I let them know the cost of the bill, you know, as I get to them. But to, to let you know, to give you an idea of a price of something like that, like the bill I've done for for the guy um, in the muffler shop, um, it's usually about $300. You know, now I'll take a $150 deposit on a bill like that. And... It's tough because you have to have wheels um, for a nine car hauler. If you want the trucking wheels, you have to. I have to source the wheels or find the wheels. Um, and if I do have the wheels available, you know, that's instead of wheels is gone. I have to do the build. So that's one of the most important things that I have to have in order to do the build. I could put like custom rims on it. Uh, I'm going to give you a couple guys an example. I'm going to flip the camera around and show you guys a couple of the builds that I've done so far. Alright guys, here is an example of nine car haul I built some time back on my shelf here. I'm going to give you guys a closer view. Um, this one was made from a die cast or the front part of it. The truck part was made up from a die cast. Kenworth um, build right now I can't think of the brand 
of it, but it, I think it was a 1 in 30, supposed to be a 1 in 32 scale, but it was a little big for that. And I took it and I built uh, the ramps, added the wood around it, custom built it, and I added the custom rims. This is what I was talking about when I said I can add rims, tires, instead of uh, the regular tires. I did the same thing for the trailer. On this particular one, I added the three three wheels on the back, three wheel axle, um, and that's pretty much it. How it is? It's built out of wood. Uh, a lot of the ramps can lift up and down to access the bottom cars. I got hinges. If you can see right there, I put hinges on them so. These are not meant to be played with, guys, even though they do roll and everything. You can actually roll it back and forth, but I built this for a shelf display purpose only, guys. This is, you know, God asked me to build this, and, you know, it's not something I recommend for your kids. It's, it's, a, it's a display piece, and it's a work of art. I consider it art. This is another one I'm particularly started working on right here on the shelf. It's far from done. I just got some cars sitting up on it. And I have my uh, Fast and Furious tow truck. Kind of like Peterbilt. Slammed to the ground. I had changed the wheels on it. But I want to redo this whole thing and make it totally different. So I was supposed to be working on that a long, long time ago. I never did get back to it, gang. So I'm going to get back into that in the future, gang. But right now... Uh, I got some other custom builds I did. Uh, here is a enclosed see-through trailer that people I show a lot on Facebook. You know, if you uh, watch my YouTube video, you should get in, uh, follow me on Facebook. I will leave my Facebook information in the description of the video. Uh, that's where I do my giveaways at. That's where I would do the drawings at. So, you know, it'd be a good idea to, if you have a Facebook account, to follow me. Here's the back of it. I just want to show you guys it does open. This is all custom build, mostly out of uh, craft wood and actually poster board and plastic. Another build I did a while back, it's hard to see. I did somewhat of a bread truck. Let me know, guys, if you want to see this up close and personal in a, in a, in a future video. It rolls, the doors open. It has an interior and everything. So that's a custom build. I do the dioramas. Let me show you right quick. I'm going to give you guys a tour. Now, this is the workshop studio that we're in right now. I'm going to show you a part where you know I keep my collection here. All my dioramas. I don't have all my lights on on my diorama. But a lot of it is here, as you guys can see. But I'm going to give you guys a tour of a part that I haven't showed you guys in, in quite some time. And that's in the other room. And in here I have my shelf display going all the way around. I have my LED lights. And... You can see up there around my ceiling, and it actually extends all the way down to the end of my basement. It's kind of messy right now, so I'm going to show you guys everything. It's messy, but not messy at the same time. So, I just want to show you came in here because here's another display that I built sometime back in my window here. It's another truck and trailer that I built. Let me grab my flashlight. Let me grab my flashlight, gang. This is kind of dark on the camera. Let's see if I can turn the light on. Okay. This is one I built some time ago. It's kind of too bright. But, um, if you look closely, um, this is quite different. It's also a nine car hauler. I don't have all the cars on there at the moment. 
but it's just the trailer. It doesn't have the cars on the rack. I can take the rack off of the trunk, just that, and um, detach it. It just be a trailer without the trunk. And I got you know two wheels on this one. This is whole entire thing is custom built. This took me some time. This probably actually cost more than the other one. We're probably looking at 350, 400 for this one. And it has a ton of moving parts, a ton of moving racks. Because I got a car way down here. I have this rack down here, another rack that can move. So I got a vet down in there right now. Excuse me while I'm out of focus. But as you can see, I have another rack that can move and goes up and down. I have a ladder. This rack moves, this rack moves. I believe this one moves also. It doesn't even have to, but um, it's really, really detailed, guys. If I can, can actually show you guys the amount of detail that went into this. So these trailers are a lot of work, guys. Um, got another one right here. This is one that's similar to the one I did that the guy is mentioning, Felix. This is the first one that I built. Well, not the first one, the second one. This is the one I actually done for the guy, and I kept it for myself some time ago. It's still holding up strong. This is one that would be more like in the $300 range. But that's that. And coming down further, I'm just gonna show you some of my cars real quick as I'm going through. Coming down here, got a couple of empty spaces. My Impala. Basically, just took you all the way around real quick, gang. Eh? I'm looking at this window seal right here in front of me. I have some more cars, some Bel Airs. Then down here, kind of have my Fords. So dusty. I only want to put light on the game because it's dusty, as you can see. I'm not ashamed. I clean most of my cars, majority of the time. But right in the back here is my first truck that I ever built. Still holding up, gang. Same thing, same deal. That one was like the most roughest one I had. A few more of my Mustangs. Flashlight does a lot of tricks, but there we go. There you have that. Uh going back through. It's going back through, gang. Haven't showed that in a while. A lot of these cars I switch around. Move them with different other ones. Haven't showed this Mercedes truck in a while. Is it dusty? That's how I check my car and see if they dusty or not. Wheels I just took off of the the Corvette in the last video. I put them on my Regal right here. Got to clean it up. <clears throat> but that's it, gang. I just wanted to show you guys that real fast. Say what up to Bella. Bella. All right. Go sit down, buddy. Go sit down. Get your toy. Get your toy. She's going to chill. So right now, gang, what I want to show you guys is a diorama that I built a while back during the time where I was away from uh, YouTube for about eight, nine months, guys. Uh, during the time where I was off, I was still doing diorama builds. I did like three builds during the time I was away from YouTube, but here's one of them. And I hope that answers your question, Felix. Uh, 
And I'm sorry it took so long for me to get back to you. But uh, here in front of us, guys, is a 1 64 scale, Fast and Furious. Uh, what's his name? Torero. Torero. I'm not a big fan of Fast and Furious. But I am a big fan of cars. Um, don't bash me for being a big fan of Fast and Furious. I'm just not a big movie fan, period, gang. So don't bash me for that. Um, I have seen some of the movies, well, the first movie, but I haven't seen all of them. So <coughs> I was inspired to build this because I'm a big fan of YouTube, and it's, it's a lot of guys that have done this build already that I have seen. And also the Jada Nano set. Mommy, she is going crazy, but I'm, I'm going to close the door. Give me a moment, Mommy, please. Thank you. She's going crazy with her toy. But, uh, the nano set, like I was saying, inspired me to, to make this. It was real tiny. Uh, anybody know anything about the nano cars? Um, they are really tiny. I'm going to give you an example. Uh, in my workshop, let me turn my light on. As a matter of fact, I got the green lights on. So I'm just gonna snatch a couple down. Got a wall right here in my diorama. One of my dioramas that I put a couple of my cars on. It's kind of hard to see. Let me zoom in, gang. It's kind of like a shelf display. Kind of make it like it's diorama, shelf display. So, these are the nano cars. As you can see, they are really tiny. But Jada came out with these, and they actually built a Fast and Furious house that uh, fits the size of these cars in scale. So, I wanted to do one for one in 64 scale. Uh, I got some one in 64 scale cars back here. And they actually hot wheels. And they actually fast and furious. So here's a few that I have. If you compare the size of them, this is nano. And this is like hot wheels, one in 64 scale size. So. I build the house mostly out of foam board game, foam board, uh, corrugated paper for the roof on the side. Um, I did all the window trim in uh, skinny sticks, or what you can see, it's similar to like a popsicle stick or wood craft sticks. The post is made out of wood, <coughs> little, um, Cylinders, uh, I don't know what you call them, but everything else like the stairs is foam board. This um, for the grass, it's like something you buy at uh, the craft store. They have rolls of it or, or sheets of it. I believe this was a sheet, like a uh, 12 by 12 inch or 10 inch sheet needs a square sheet and I used it for the grass and everything else <clears throat> like the siding guys underneath the siding is foam board I actually use um, what you call uh, the uh, <laughs> poster board the little thin flat poster board for the siding and I just cut strips the strips of it and I Ran it all the way across the side and layered it all the way up on each side of the house on the corners for the corner pieces. I actually actually use more poster board for the sides. This was my door. I had built some stairs. Um, I they in the other room. I forgot about the stairs, but. This is the other side. I'm just showing you each side of the house. And here was the garage. Made out of all foam board. The 
roof is actually just um, poster board. If I didn't finish the roof, I'm gonna put um, different layers for like shingles on the roof. So here's my door. Oh, I dropped one of my cars. The door is, is a separate piece I made. It just basically slides on there. But it could actually stay up there and close, something like that. But build the driveway. And as you can see, on the side of the driveway, I got poster board. It's three layers thick. Then on top of the poster board, I have. Um, I, I meant foam board, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me, I get too mixed up, but I got three layers of foam board, and then I got the thin layer of poster board on top. And poster board going around the sides to build the little side walls. And then post the board again with the grass. And I painted it like a light gray. So you can see in the back where it's where the garage covers it. That is let's see. Why I didn't paint it all the way. It's a real faint light light gray color. And the garage just sits right on top. Actually I believe I could take the uh, yeah, I can take the the bottom out of the garage. And see the inner of the garage. So the bottom piece. It's just a piece of foam board with a piece of poster board glued to the top. I left a little piece for the ramp that I folded down like such. So you know you had the incline. Because of the poster board. And I made it just to slide and fit right perfectly down inside of the. Uh -oh, I can't do it with one hand, guys. I might can. Let me see. Test, test your boy skills. Okay. There we go. There we have it. So I didn't attach the garage, I didn't glue it down, I didn't attach this to this, which I could have glued it all together, and this had one piece, and there you have it, um, the cars are just made, you know, plenty wide driveway for, to put plenty of cars on. Just, it was just a fun build for me, guys. I wanted to mention if you guys wanted me to build this again, I built this off of camera while I was off of YouTube. Um, I did it within like a week. It didn't take me long to do it, even though it had a lot of details and I had to paint it and everything. Um, I was thinking about doing this build all over again because it's my first one and there's some things in it that I can improve. You know, you do something the first time, you might notice some things that I could change a little bit to make it even better than this. So, if I get 10 likes on this video, I'm going to start giving you guys like hypes because uh, a lot of guys don't sometimes watch the video and don't want to hit the like button if you want to join the content. If I get 10 likes in 24 hours, I'm going to do a, a whole nother build on this on this 164 uh, scale. Let me get it right. High wheel size, fast and furious uh, house with the garage. Step by step, I'm gonna show you guys how I build it and, and how you guys can also build it. You follow, follow the build and build it yourself, or you could just watch and enjoy the concert. Um, that's that. I really enjoyed it, guys. I wanted to show you guys that I've been holding that back for a while. I could have been showed you guys. Also. I have a new purchase gang. And before I get into my new purchase, I want to do a quick unboxing. I have so much. I get bagged up on content. But the other day, a few days ago, I was in the store and I found me something that I really like. And I'm going to show you guys. I'm not going to even stop the video. 
Here it is, right here, guys. One punch, man. I was in Target on my way to work, making my normal routine stop. And one punch, man, was on the shelf. I was excited to see it. Um, I'm not a fan of this cartoon, so I think it's Satama. That's how you pronounce it. If not, Saintama. And 1974 Mazda RX 3. Very nice car, guys. I want to get it out the box, guys. Give you guys a closer look at it. And also the die cast figure that it comes with. I mentioned to you guys, I'm going to start collecting a lot of these. These are mostly what I'm focused on in my collection now. So, every one that I find, I will share with you guys. I also picked up some new 64. Where I was in Target. I know I'm a diecast addict, for real. <coughs> uh, here we go. A premium Fast and Furious. I've got the 1967 Chevy Camaro off-road, as you can see. Really not a big fan of this particular vehicle for some reason. It's really cool. I do dig the 1967 Camaro. I do have it in the um, 1 in 24 scale Jada. Um, but it, I seen premium, and I just grabbed it, guys. Um, as you can see on the back of here, it's a five set. This is number two of five. If you see the top, they have a set of five of these premiums. And the ones that I really want is the ones that you never find. Really want that track hawk, that Jeep track hawk, the Mazda R 7 and the Porsche. The Porsche 718 Cayman. GT4 I really want that one I wouldn't mind having uh, Brian's Nissan Skyline GTR either but <clears throat> there we have that I also picked up a Majorette Corvette I seen with for the first time uh, it has opening doors <clears throat> it's described as metal body rubber tires suspension opening parts which is the opening doors and licensed vehicle very nicely detailed I'm not going to unbox these 64's it comes with a box and I collect a lot of Mustangs so there you have it alright so right now I got one more I have a 5 pack that I picked up too uh, I sent this on the shelf, and I was like, um, what caught my eye is the Caprice. You have a 1975 Chevy Caprice in there, which I love, love, love. It's the first time I've seen this particular model. I knew about it, but I've never seen it in the store. And it was in the five pack. And I'm like, wow. I'm never going to find this in the poverty in the single pack. That's my first time I've ever seeing it on the shelf, so I grabbed it. But it also has some other cool cars in there, like the 64, what is the Austin, Austin Mini Coupe. Then we have the T-Top Corvette in there, planes. Then we have the, the what year is this, the 1930, 35 Ford pickup truck. I really, really like that one because it reminds me of the high wheels. Some of my high wheels, like the foam shaker and things like that. Then we have the 68 Dodge. It's the Dodge D200. Matchbox logo on the side. So overall, pretty cool five pack. I really liked that Caprice. That's the reason why I grabbed it. So we're going to get this out the box, guys. Take a closer look. I'm going to start the video back. All right, gang. Here we have it. One Punch Man fresh out the box. Here we have it. One Punch Man with the die cast figure. Um, I 
I say it's about 95% die cast, the whole body. Of course, the cape is plastic, and I believe the head is plastic. But nice figure stands up pretty good. On this own, we have the 74 miles the RX3 with delivery, nice wheels, everything opens, the boot, trunk, nice power, or the boot. The steering wheel is on the right for that true JDM. There's that trunk. The motor is painted all black. Nice little details. I like the way the headlights look for some reason. I have to see it in person. It's like a clear little lens though, but it looks like it, it's custom, like it has a little light to come through the middle. I don't know. I kind of dig that, but I just unboxed one just like this. Um, one I got from the auto show not too long ago with the Power Ranger. The Blue Ranger had the same exact vehicle. And Jada been doing a lot of that. That's pretty much what they do. Uh, I used to be totally against that, collecting a bunch of the same the same casting over and over again um, I think I've really grown as a collector I, you know it don't bother me as much as anymore but at one point in time I was just into collecting one of each car that Jade ever made I wasn't interested in until they started doing the die cast figures I wasn't too much interested in getting multiple of the same cars so there we have it Another Monster RS3 in the collection. Uh, just to mention, guys, I have a giveaway going on right now. If you're not subscribed to the channel, uh, you can take the moment right now, gang. Hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free. It's funny a lot of guys don't know that. that it's absolutely free to subscribe to any channel on YouTube. Guy at my job, I'm not going to mention any names, asked me, like, is it... Uh, well, he didn't know that it was free to subscribe. Like, yeah, it don't cost you a dime. And the enter to giveaway is actually 100% free. Really simple. Rules are simple. It's just a gamble, guys. A free gamble. You can get involved. If you know somebody that collect diecast, uh, you can enter for them. If you know somebody, but you have to be subscribed to the channel. You know, if, if you watch the channel and you don't collect, you know, you might have a friend that collect or uh a son or daughter or anybody you know or collect for yourself you might start your own collection so if you want any of the details i did put up a video 700 subscriber giveaway go back and watch that video and it's really simple to enter uh uh the video after that video all the details is in the description of the video so hit that subscribe button and get involved gang really appreciate all you guys Got another unboxing coming. I'm going to do a wheel swap right out the box. So stay tuned for that video. And if you enjoyed the content, leave a thumbs up. Until next time, peace and love, gang. I'm out. Holla.